This is gonna take forever. We'll take shifts. Yeah, when you get tired. I want to take another look around. First, huh? You're the detective. I'm just a locksmith. Part-time investigator. Want to trade? Sheriff King and a posse. I'd settle for a flashlight. You have one in the car? Glove compartment. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm closer. <coughs> oh, it's just a bat. Go sit in the car. I have to look around. Oh, not by yourself? Why? What for? George, if bats can get in, there has to be another entrance. Not necessarily large enough to let a human being in. Whatever it is, I want to know. We did see a light in that tower last night, not the moon. Besides, I just found fresh tire tracks leading right to the edge of that cliff. The cliff? Why would anyone park there? Good question. Nancy? Instead of both of us looking around up there, why don't I try to figure out what those tire tracks mean? Right. You're not mad, are you? No. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Jack Wald, Professor Wald, the new owner. Oh. You almost fell. I. Are you out here alone? No, I...
back out here on your own. You know this is private property, and I'm responsible for any damage. That's all right. Miss Drew was looking out for my interest, weren't you? I'd be delighted. What are they? Well, this old lighthouse for one, but you for another. Ned's told me about your concern for my property. Nancy, this is Professor Wall, the new owner. Jack Wall, how do you do? Did you know your lighthouse came with a ghost? I'd have demanded my money back if it hadn't. Nancy, ghosts are the professor's business. Parapsychology. Really? Are you interested? Fascinated. I'd say something now, Ned, or forever old to peace. Uh, look, it's uh, my responsibility to see that the lighthouse is in acceptable shape for you to sign off our trusteeship, Professor. So, uh, if you'd like to have a look around with me. I'd like to join you. There's a few things I'd like to point out to Professor Wall. Fine, I'd appreciate that. Uh, Nancy, I really think it best if you and George head back into town. We got a lot of ground to cover before dark. Ned, in case you've forgotten, I also work for my father. Oh, Professor, do ghost leave footprints? Well, they've been known to break crystal, or ring doorbell, set fires. I'm sure they could muster a few footprints. Why? Well, your ghost spent some time in the light tower, recently. Really? <sighs> well? They were right there, in the dust. What dust? I don't know. The floor was covered with it. Well, look, you can still see some in the corner. It must have blown away. I don't feel any breeze up here. This room's sealed. It is blowing pretty hard outside. If there are any leaks, we'd certainly feel them by now. Nancy, I couldn't have seen them. I chickened out by the stairs. I'm sorry. Well, I did see them right there on the floor. And we all saw the light last night. I believe you, Nancy. I appreciate your offer to help. It'll make placing my equipment a lot easier. What equipment? Monitoring devices for locating timid ghosts. I'll install them this afternoon and get started tonight. You're going to spend the night in here? It's my work. Hopefully, I won't be alone. Uh, he means the ghosts. He, uh, he hopes he'll show up tonight. Everyone's welcome. Nancy, you must be out of your mind. I can't let you spend the night in a rat-infested old lighthouse. Well, I don't know if I'd go so far as to call the professor rat. But he sure does move fast. Now, Ned, you stay out of this. You're not exactly unbiased, you know. And neither are you. I mean, you're chasing some sort of ghost fantasy, and the professor's chasing you. Now look who's imagining things. Besides, I'm not going alone. George is coming with me. Me? I'm going. I wonder if either one of you would be willing to spend the night in that spooky old place. Mr. Drew, you're not actually considering Ned, letting them... Ned, Ned, wait a minute. Let's keep our roles in perspective here. I'm Nancy's father. I'm supposed to have the wisdom of age at this point in my life. And after all, this fellow Wall is a full professor whose work dictates peculiar circumstances of this kind, right? Dad, you're terrific. Come on, George. we got lots of work to do. Sir. Ned, you have to understand something. Nancy has a very inquisitive mind. She loves to unravel a mystery. But well, most of the investigative work she gets to do for the firm is confined to checking out driving records and searching through legal files. But now we're talking about ghosts. Come on, Ned. Think of the attraction. The attraction is what I'm thinking about. And so is the professor, if you want my opinion. Well, if you feel that way about it, why don't you go with him? I'm sure they'd love to have you. No, thanks. I have to go over those briefs for you. I'll see you tomorrow, Mr. Drew. Right, Ned. She'll have a wonderful time. It's nice of you girls to help me out. It's my pleasure. I'll go back for another one. I don't believe him. I mean, he's an Adonis. I guess that's my way of saying I've changed my mind. I'm going to go to the lighthouse and spend the night with you and Professor Wall. I wonder what he's up to. George, have you ever heard any stories about that old lighthouse being haunted? No. Neither have I. I wonder where the professor's heard them. He's from clear across the country in California. That's a fair question. Oh. Excuse me <clears throat> for being nosy. I was wondering what our professor of parapsychology reads to put himself to sleep at night. Ghost stories. What else? <laughs> 
this book's lost treasures of the world. Yes. Well, a student of mine found this book in a small store in Carmel, California. He brought a chapter of it to my attention. 